We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. 
Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. I have to tell you, these are the best muffins I ever had. I was supposed to meet a client for a house show today, but I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Say that I do. A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? Well, he's, uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well, incident. I'm not really from around here, so I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. You can wait a little long. Uh -huh. Will you please go check out what that was? Si, sí, por supuesto. Hello there, sir. Hi. Oh, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that, too. Um, I thought maybe, you know, if we could increase the staging budget, then we... What? Ah, 
Bingo. Uh huh. Huh? What the heck was that? Oh. Uh huh. Strange. Talk to your man. Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. Finally, I've had my eye on this... This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room, with two easy-to-get-to exits. Dark floors, hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a ball. This, this is very interesting. Nice work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the Academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code. Just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. Frank, go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again, 1.1? Sounds about right. Hmm, I suppose that's not unreasonable. And this vault unit looks quite versatile. Internal climate control and explode versatile. Internal climate control and explode. No, don't turn it back! <laughs> Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention.
Command, this is me. Garden is clear and I'm moving on. Over. Nothing here. Well, it's sort of a hobby that never really took off. Besides, I don't have any microfilm to play on the viewer anyway. I'm not sure I could find any either. Hmm. Well, Janus next door collects all kinds of ancient memorabilia. He might have a roll or tape or whatever it is that sort of thing uses. Hey, how are you? I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good. Back in the day, Janus was known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two. Good work, 47. All there is left to do now is wait. like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. Getting gear. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Over.
Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently, he needs it for something soon. You seem to have so a many robe for Janus. What could he need that for? Well, when you're retired, you can get an astonishing amount. Ceremonial robe of some sort with a note Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Good man, looking good. Just relax, you'll be on your way in a sec. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. from Janus's house yet? No. I got sidetracked by all the activities surrounding that politician who came to visit. Hmm. Well, I've got another letter that needs to be looked at before we allow it through. Cassidy made it clear that we'll have no leaks coming from here. I'll put it in the pile when I have time. Got it. So Cassidy with... holds Janus's outgoing mail. He might have written something considered confidential in the past. Might be worth a shot. Tell me. We had a guy poking around in the backyard earlier. Claimed he was there to look at the frogs. Yeah, likely stalked. What did he look like? I'm pretty sure it was that James Batty guy. You, were, you know, the guy with the lawsuit. <sighs> Pain in the ass. What was he doing? I tagged him trying to peek over the fence. He claimed he wanted to see if the frogs were migrating further into our yard. I sent him on his way. All right. It's not even the first time this has hmm. happened. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft, and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister. Some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with a constant at an event related to the Ark Society, and we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Ah, all mission objectives are completed. 
47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <sighs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it.